uh, still here at Greater Austin Comic Con. Uh, I'm here with the Eifers Armor, Armory, Eifers Armory, uh, also known as Logan Jones. Logan, how you doing, man? Doing all right. Winding down after a pretty crazy day. How how was y'all y'all's day today? Well, I've been squatting for about 90% of it, so I'm probably not going to be able to walk tomorrow. <laughs> but that's why you have the chair, right? Yes. Yeah. Thank you, chair. <laughs> Going on willpower and ice cream at this point. There you go. Um, all right. Uh, so how long have you been cosplaying? Since 2012. I started when I was 19. Bit of a late bloomer. Doesn't. That's that's fine. Yeah. Uh, what was your first costume? It was right on my banner there. Yoshimitsu Tekken 3. Now you made this, right? Yes. This is the first helmet I ever built. How did you? Uh, what's your process? I took it actually on this head form here. Oh wow, really? Yes, I I glued a bunch of cardboard and tin foil to it in the rough shape of the helmet. I covered that in clay just to really get all the details in. Covered that in plaster bandages, and then covered that in fiberglass. And then did the whole shebang, pop it off the head form, sand it down smooth, and paint it. How long did something like this take you? The helmet alone, I think, took me a month. Really? It was the first time I'd ever done oh, anything like this. Fair I was enough. Figuring everything out as I was doing it. But I think it turned out pretty good for a first go. I, yeah, that's amazing. Now, obviously, you're older Spidey from uh, Into the Spider Verse. Yes. I think it's probably one of the easier cosplays to do. Certainly. Although, I, although you looks like you did make your the Spidey suit itself. I did. There's a bit of a tale behind this, actually. Tell the audience. This was originally intended just to be. A complete custom-made Spidey suit. I've got this is specialty spandex mesh fabric. I don't even know what this is. I found <laughs> it on Etsy, but it's not just flat, shiny spandex. I wanted something to look really wow. Unfortunately, I ended up sewing it too small, so this is really tight and short on me. It ends. Oh here. wow! So I figured <laughs> I'm not gonna keep making a suit that won't fit me when I'm done. But. I come this far, might as well use it for something. There you go. It works. And, 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 drops, and the Spider-Verse drops into your lap, and you're like, perfect. And these sweatpants are even from New York. Rochester Institute of Technology. <laughs> oh, all right, nice. <laughs> you're a true New Yorker, there we go. Well, you are from New York. Yes. So you're Spidey through and through then. I've been to New York City twice in my life, so I guess that counts. There you go. Well, you're from, I mean, you're from the state of New York, right? You're from Rochester. So there you go. Close enough. Close enough. We'll take it. Um, what's your what, what's been your uh, favorite cosplay so far? It'd probably be my latest Yoshimitsu. Not him, but the Soul Calibur Six iteration. Okay. I just made that one last year. It was taking the life out of me, but I survived, and he's done. And I think he looks magnificent. I'll be wearing him here tomorrow. Okay. And I'll be. Judging the cosplay contest, with really my good friend Jack Sparrow. Very cool. What do you okay now when you when you're judging cosplay? Like, what do you look for? Like, well, how, how do you judge? Personally, because I, I know that I'm a horrible judge. But I'm like, that's awesome. That's awesome. I can't do any of it. So, I'm the worst. I'd be the worst judge. I probably the biggest thing. I focus on silhouette. Really, silhouette comes first. Everything else for me. Come secondary, because the first thing you notice, just the basic outline, if it exudes whoa, power, presence, or if it looks like the character you're portraying, you know, maybe giant shoulders out three feet on each side, <laughs> like that's hard to ignore, like, whoa, he's got my attention. <laughs> Draw you in, and look for the finer stuff, maybe stitching, right. blue marks, paintwork. I'd say... Paintwork is a hard second after silhouette. Okay. I don't know if this is a good example, but I tried to get the paint to really pop on this. I think you did pretty well on it. I mean... But me looking at it now, I'm thinking, oh, I should have added some highlights onto these cheekbones, onto that nose ridge, those brows. Right, so, I mean, you, you always Monday morning quarterback your own stuff. Yes. <laughs> Now, uh, what else do you have on here? You got Spidey. Yes. Uh, what's what's the different texture, the different spandex, or what, what's? Well, these are both spandex, but this one here, this one's based on the a video game design 
Spider-Man Edge of Time. Gotcha. This one is just plain lycra spandex, smooth, shiny, craft foam lenses, plastic mesh. Damn. Yeah. With a craft foam face shell underneath, custom made. Oh, damn, okay. Whereas this one, this is made from the same material as this shirt, actually. It's, right. It's a spandex sports mesh. No. I got it mainly for the texture on it. Okay. It's not completely smooth. It has a bit more visual interest and ventilation is really good. I can imagine that support when you're playing Spider-Man. Yes, not quite as stretchy as plain spandex, so I have a little panel of normal lycra in the back here for extra stretchability so I can get my face in there. Okay. And the lenses are actually cut from soda bottle tops. Just the big two liter plastic bottles. That's badass. And there's a a chrome mirror tint spray sprayed on the underside, so you can still see through this perfectly. It's like a pair of sunglasses. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. The web lines is just a basic fabric marker. It's meant to be finished off like this here. This is a latex and puff paint blend. Gotcha. For stretchability. Uh, I was going to ask you how you painted, how you did the painting on that, but okay. Mm. Very cool. What's uh? What's your next? Okay, so you got the. What's your like next next project? Next next. Have you thought that far ahead? Are you just like one cosplay like? Well, I don't have any definite plans. I'm probably gonna slow down with costume making a bit after this. Yeah. Focus on some other things, but I'm definitely not gonna abandon it entirely. A dream project of mine has always been Smoke from Mortal Kombat. That'd be good. In his cyborg form. That'd be good. Yes, I. I'm a stickler for armor, robots, anything right. like that. Incorporate maybe a smoke machine, just That'd get some cool. pups as I walk by. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome, man. Well, uh, if you're here uh, tomorrow, I'm going to try and get this up tonight. Uh, come say hi. Uh, come check out the armor. And uh, Logan, hey, thanks so much man, for the interview. Thank you for having me. Great to be here. Yeah. Something more pronounceable, easy to remember. Uh, Less German. <laughs> okay, let me. Oh, that's a really funny intro. Um.